Tesla unveiled a new Optimus bot design with Elon confirming it's version 2.5, not version 3, which he calls sublime. It does look like Optimus is using car cameras. Hey Herbert, yeah, lots of news, just all different places too, but it's really starting to ramp up. Yeah, I, I, we'll see what happens, but so far it feels like Elon is posting more after his compensation plan. Uh, and so let's take a look what he has been saying, especially about the bot. So this is the first thing, Tesla Optimus dropped this. I've been working on my figure. And then this is that. I don't know if he's ref if there's a kind of a, a little bit reference to figure AI, the other oh. humanoid bot company could be but let's take a look at this so this is the new kind of version of the bot it looks like um nick cruz patane said you know take a look at what's happened here with the raptor engine where the first version the second version and third version is so much more refined first version second version third version a little bit more refined um but elon did reply saying hey we haven't yet shown optimus v3 yet it is sublime the second two images are v2 and 2.5 so if you take a look at V2 and 2.5, you can see a few things. They rounded the corner of the shoulders. They've kind of removed a little bit more panel gaps here. They've they've hidden the uh, the, the things that are exposed, and then they put gloves on the hands. They made the thighs a little thinner, and so forth. So there is some minor uh, considerations here. Jeff, what's your thoughts about uh, when you saw these bots? Yeah, companies don't, when they're making a plan, they don't typically plan a 2.5. So obviously something something was kind of slid in and and they're and they're working on the next they're working on the next version of it. From what I've seen, it looks like they're making a lot of changes to narrow this thing down uh, to get it to be production worthy. I, I remember, by the way, you so, you showed the the picture of the, the progression of the three. I remember what walked out on stage. Uh, at AI Day in September of 2022, I was sitting in the third row and I saw this, I saw Optimus in somewhat of an assisted form walk out for the first time. So it, it, it's safe to say that tes the Tesla team got to a really quick start in robotics, building out their team, building out these prototypes. And the, the one thing I'd, I'd like to address is this whole thing of it's it's late or it's delayed. I think, they're, I think Tesla definitely encountered some issues in the spring of this year they've noticed some th they've noticed some things that that changed their plans that they had earlier i would say late winter you know they had plans of building several thousand of these this year they still could build a sizable amount of them it's, it's their decision but typically when companies are know that they have to skip the current version they're on and go to the next one unless there's a internal purpose a, a meaningful internal purpose that's transferable to the next design. Uh, like for example, software purposes or doing some sort of field test or some sort of other purpose that that can carry forward in the next design, uh, they'll build. But if, if, if that isn't the case, they'll, they'll, they'll reduce that build plan because these prototypes are, you would not believe how expensive these prototypes are. So what I'm seeing in the pictures is I'm seeing a gradual progression towards the seams reducing the uh, the ingress points. This is a big thing in, in consumer product design is you really wanna reduce the gaps, you really wanna reduce the seams on the product and you want to uh, basically eliminate the probability of, of dust and liquid ingress on the product. So those are some of the changes that I've seen, but there's, I mean, there's a lot of changes in, in multiple areas of the bot. I would. I would direct you towards um, Scott Walter's post on this. I think he did a really good job summarizing some of the changes and 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 why he thought was a, it was a two point five, which it really was. And uh, but where I think this positions, I think Elon and the team understand the changes between where they're at today and production. I think this differentiates Tesla. By the way, I do think a lot of bot companies are progressing. And, and and by the way, I do believe there will be more than one winner in this space, and there there could be some some large winners in this space. Uh, but I do think Tesla is keenly aware of where they're at relative to production. I do expect Optimus, you know, to be available and and doing meaningful work in the Tesla factories in a matter of months. Is it is it six months? Is it nine months? 
we'll see what the v3 plan looks like yeah that's what i was going to ask you because if this is version 2.5 and Elon saying that version three is going to be very different. And uh, in fact, we actually even had another Optimus AI team member, you know, like mind blown. Like they're really saying big things about version three. So when version three comes, and it's a complete redesign, you know, more refined. Doesn't that, Jeff, put them back to, you know, square one in terms of production, um, you know, production plans in the future? Well, it depends what parts change and if you know is it raw material driven is it assembly driven i i wouldn't say squ i wouldn't say square one mm -hmm. uh it it honestly it depends it depends what's changing so i'll be that'll be interesting to see is that a reveal maybe at the investor uh meeting is, is a v is v3 a reveal then it looks like there's some major tech reveals coming up for tesla and this could be this could be one of them. Again, you're, you're at this stage. You're really focused on the final changes needed for it to be production worthy. The biggest thing that's going on with a lot of bot programs are short term reliability issues, medium term reliability issues. They haven't. You got to knock down the short term reliability issues. You can work on all of them and in, in, in concurrently, but you really got to knock down the short-term reliability issues of why do these things fail? And if you look at conventional robotics, I mean, that's one of the, the big things when you're looking at conventional robotics in factories, you're looking at uptime, you're looking at reliability, you're looking at uh, tolerances in terms of placement and accuracy. And these are all the things. So when you see these big physical humanoids, you know, w walking around and, you know, they're just getting the ability to walk and do certain things. Remember, there's a fairly long road from there to yeah. something that's reliable, that's repeatable, and that can be manufactured. Yeah. And that's exactly the perfect timing. This is what uh, Elon did say. So uh, Phil Bissell said, it isn't just the Tesla design studio, studio hard at work making Optimus design better. Hardware teams involved making sure everything can fit, work, and stay cool inside. And then you got Elon saying, Optimus is a hard problem in engineering, design, and especially manufacturing. So, yeah. Um, this is Scott Walter. He's a robotics expert. And he said, no, this is not Optimus Gen 3. And of course, Elon confirmed that it's pre-production pilot Optimus or mid-cycle refresh Optimus or Gen 2.5. And he and that's exactly what Elon that's ended up saying. Here's why. And he explains in a nice post. We also saw this kind of close-up video. There's two eyes, here's two cameras, a little creepy. But, you know, uh, what's interesting is that people are saying that it's actually the same cameras that uh, the cars are using. So do you, do you agree it's, that it's there's possible. redundancy? Uh, yeah. No, um, I mm -hmm. don't. I I would be surprised, actually. I would be pleasantly surprised if they're the same, but I, I think the application is a bit different. Uh, I, I do think th these humanoids need to be able to read and discern small text. And so I, I would be surprised, actually, if it's mm -hmm. the same camera. There may be macro modes that are needed. So I would be a, a bit surprised, but they, I, I believe they are using the same integrator. The integrator is the company that assembles the lenses, the housings, the all the all the uh, all the movement mechanisms that are inside of a of a miniaturized camera. Basically, the camera assembly. If you think through it, I do believe that they're using the same one. I don't know if that was formally announced. There was definitely articles about it and that's uh, a, a company division of, of samsung called semco